Now I'm going to cover ConnectWise Automate and how it can complement the Acronis CyberCloud. We're going to talk about how you can remotely install and update the Acronis agent via the Automate console, how you can easily apply predefined protection plans at the client location or even machine level, how you can monitor protection statuses for any errors or warnings that may occur, leverage the native Automate reporting, ticketing, and alerting functionality for handling backup events, and how to provision new or map to existing Acronis CyberCloud customers. First, let's start with the new integration method. This allows you to create an API client from the Acronis CyberCloud console itself. Simply go into the Acronis CyberCloud, select Settings, and API Clients. From there, in the top right, you will see Create API Client. From here, you'll take your client ID and your secret and save those credentials somewhere safe. From there, we'll take them right back over to our Automate instance. We'll open up the System Configuration Dashboard. We'll browse through Configuration, Integration, and find the Acronis tab, where we will then be able to add a partner. Entering in the client ID and secret will bypass the need to enter in your credentials clear text. You still have the ability to do so, although it is not recommended. From here, you can enable and toggle your ticket and alert integration, collecting and showing Acronis CyberCloud alerts from only systems that have the ConnectWise Automate agent installed, or from all systems that are to be protected by the Acronis CyberCloud, such as cloud applications. Once a partner has been added, Automate and Acronis CyberCloud are now connected. Once they are connected, you can import your backup plans simply by clicking Import. Once your partner has loaded, use the dropdown to select which tenant you would like to start importing your backup plan from. Whether it be a partner or a customer, you can use both of these dropdowns. Once selected, you will see as your protection plans flow in and give you the ability to import from any one of these customers. You may also enable troubleshooting debug info warning or error. This allows you to collect and show those Acrona CyberCloud alerts again, and also collect the necessary information to provide to our support team in case of any issues. When setting up Automate with Acronis Cyber Protection, you have the option to map companies or locations to the Acronis customer tenants, whether they be existing or if you're creating new. To map at the company level, simply double click a company, browse to the Acronis Cyber Cloud tab, and that will display all the systems for the respective company and whether or not the Acronis agent has been installed. Additionally, you can view when the last and the next backup are set to occur, as well as what protection plan has been applied and what storage is being used. As you can see here, I've already mapped this to LabTech customer, LabTech demo customer. Now, moving forward, I'll show you how you are able to map this to a company location or to a, a company. Browse down under LabTech demo two, show you that we have two locations. Demo location three has not yet been mapped. So when we open up the Acronis CyberCloud tab, we'll have the ability to use an existing Acronis customer or create new. And when we create a new customer, we'll again utilize this dropdown to select which partner it will be deployed under. You have the ability to change what the customer name, login, email, and password is, as well as the ability to enable two-factor authentication. From here, you can select what services will be enabled for this customer, whether they are utilizing the CyberProtect services for standard systems or CyberProtect for disaster recovery. 
they can go through, select these additions so that we can deploy the proper agent as well as utilize the proper storage. You may also enable or disable additional Acrona services such as file sync and share, notary, and physical data shipping. Once you have established all of your information for this customer, you may then create, pushing out a new customer creation to the Acrona Cyber Cloud. Now, what can you do with Automate and Acronis now that they have been mapped? When you double click on your lab tech demo, you can see the systems that we have protected. Under the Acronis Cyber Cloud tab, we'll have the ability to apply plans, the ability to revoke or stop a backup. We can install our agents, we can update our agents, and we can uninstall those agents. When you go in to edit these settings, Right. You can change whether they're mapped to an existing partner. You can delete the integration and push them out to a new customer if you like. The idea here is that you have the ability to map this automate company or location to any customer you like within Acronis, therefore automating your deployment. Once we've set it up to automate your deployment, you can start pushing these agents out, whether it be manual or whether it be automated. Now, in the bottom right of the screen, you will see that we have the ability to deploy agent on new machines automatically. So if there is already an Automate agent installed, we see the system showing up under the Automate company or location, the Acronis agent can be deployed automatically. In addition to that, we can also apply default plan to the machines that do not have plans set. So as we see new systems that don't have Acronis agents installed on them, the Acronis agent could be installed automatically, and the default protection plan can be applied automatically, whether it be for a server or for a workstation. From there, you can go to the backup console in order to provide any extra granular services. In addition, you can double click on the system itself and open up a individual representation of that system, right? You, you get that systems dash, and then you can go over to the plugin dash and find exactly, you know, what's going on with this system. The system's not yet protected. We can go into the embedded console and we can apply a plan. That plan, again, could be defined by default, or we can go in and set an entire protection policy. We can then apply that policy so that that plan is then run for that system. From there, we can go to the backup console. We can perform recoveries. We can set the active protection plans, revoke the active protection plans, as well as update or uninstall the agents. So really, Automate is giving you the ability to go through and automate your agent installation, your configuration uh, of your backup plans, and, and, uh, and allows you to automate your recovery as well, giving you an easy way in to the backup console or cyber protection console so that you can perform some extra granular level recoveries. Last but not least is our Acronis dashboard, which will give you a nice overview of all of the systems that you're protecting and what the health of them are. As you'll see here, we have three machines. They're not yet protected as we are just now pushing out those agents and pushing out the default protection plan. As that system is protected, you'll see it show up under monthly storage usage and monthly activities as a backup and as a storage usage.